Unlocking the bootloader of an Android smartphone or tablet allows you to install code on the device that has not been signed by the OEM who created it. But it is required in order to install any third-party software modifications like Majisk, a custom ROM, or even a custom kernel. But doing so comes with some drawbacks. Not only does it put up some roadblocks when it comes to safety net checks, but it also makes the device less secure. For many of us, the added features are worth the drawbacks, but there are times when relocking the bootloader of the Google Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro is going to be required. For example, if you ever intend to sell the device or give it away to a friend or family member, then it's ideal to lock the bootloader beforehand. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how that is done with the entire Pixel 7 series. Now to start, we're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on our desktop PC or a laptop. This is likely something you have already done since it is required in order to unlock the bootloader. So it's something that needs to be done before we can complete this tutorial. If you're not familiar with how that is done, I'll be including a link in the video description below to a tutorial that shows you how that is done. After that part is set up, we need to boot the Google Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro into fastboot mode. This can be done with either a button combination or by executing the command ADB reboot bootloader. Again, if you're not familiar with this process, be sure to check the video description below for a link to a dedicated video that I have done that shows you how to boot the Pixel 7 series into fastboot mode. Now that we have the phone in fastboot mode, let's go ahead and connect it to the PC with a USB cable and then open up a Windows PowerShell, a command prompt, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Now that we have the phone connected to the PC, we can go ahead and execute the command Fastboot space devices in order to make sure that our Fastboot tools can connect to our Pixel 7. As long as you get a return message with some letters and numbers and the word Fastboot, that means the connection is successful. With that done, we can then type out the command Fastboot space flashing space lock in order to start the relock process. You should get an OK message here without any errors and doing so will change the screen on our Pixel 7. Now that we have executed the command as instructed, this will bring up the bootloader lock confirmation screen. You need to be aware that relocking the bootloader of the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will force the phone to perform a factory data reset. This is a security layer that has been put into place by Google, so be sure to back up as much of your important data ahead of time. When you're ready to proceed, we're going to use the hardware buttons to confirm that we actually want to lock the bootloader by making sure the lock the bootloader option is highlighted and then pressing the power button to select it. It shouldn't take much time at all, and when it's done, the smartphone will bring you back to fastboot mode, and we can confirm that the bootloader has been locked by the locked message down here at the bottom. From here, we're going to continue using the hardware buttons 
to make sure that the start option is highlighted here. And then we're going to press the power button to select that option. This will reboot the phone back into Android. And since we have reset the device, it will bring us to the Android activation screen. After skipping through the activation steps, we are now brought back into the Android operating system where you can begin to restore any data you had previously backed up. If not, you can set the phone up as new, which is ideal if you intend on trading the phone or selling it.